Tilla Vet. And y'all, I am super excited about this video because the inspiration came from y'all. I released my, my 2017 interior design trends video. And so many of y'all love that video and have left comments about going into a little more detail, some history, just a little more of the educational part. And when I was in design school, histories of interior design was my favorite subject. I love learning about where design, different design styles actually started. So I decided that every month I'm going to talk about three different design styles and just give y'all a little history and background on them and how you could possibly use them in your interior space today. The first design style that I'm going to talk about is Art Deco. And I know a lot of people are familiar with the term Art Deco. The predecessor to Art Deco was actually Art Nouveau and on the tail end of Art Deco was a style called Streamline Modern. So just a quick definition of Art Deco refers to a style of visual arts and architecture that first appeared in France right before World War I. It became very popular in the 1920s and 30s. And in Art Deco, you see a lot of influence from China, Japan, India, Persia, ancient Egypt, and Mayan architecture. So all of these things had a, a heavy influence on the Art Deco style. And it is a style that had a huge influence on architecture, buildings, furniture, fashion, jewelry, ocean liners, trains, and even everyday objects like radios and vacuum cleaners were influenced by Art Deco. And really during its heyday, Art Deco represented luxury, exuberance, and the glamour of that particular time period. And believe it or not, most of us have seen Art Deco. Now you may have known the style, you may not have known what style it is, but it had such a heavy influence on the design of many metropolitan buildings in large cities as well as small cities. And during that time frame of the 20s and 30s when going to the movies became very popular, it had a huge influence on a lot of the movie theaters. And Art Deco was not just limited to the United States. And you can find influence of Art Deco in Canada, Europe, Asia, Africa, and even in Australia, all have been influenced by this particular design style. One of the largest iconic Art Deco style buildings is in New York, and that is the Chrysler Building. It is a true monument to the Art Deco style and the movement. And a couple other buildings that were highly influenced by the Art Deco movement was the American Radiator Building and also 30 Rockefeller Center, which is also located in New York City. If you're ever there and you have a chance to visit those buildings, see the epitome of Art Deco, then I highly recommend. And really, if you're in any type of metropolitan city, you will probably see some type of Art Deco influence in your area. Another famous iconic landmark that was done during this time frame is Christ the Redeemer, which was sculpted in 1931 in Rio de Janeiro. That was also part of the Art Deco movements. You know, I talked a little bit about the Streamline Modern, which was kind of on the tail end of Art Deco, which you'll see a lot of that in Miami. If you've ever gone to Miami and been in the Lincoln Square or any of that area, in the Miami Beach area, you'll see a huge influence that came later in that particular period, but you definitely can tell that is the Art Deco style. I want to say the Lincoln Theater in Miami is, is a good representation of the Art Deco movement or the towards the latter end. And I was looking through some of my older Architectural Digest magazines and I came across an issue from 1993 that featured Barbara Streisand and it was Art Deco from front to back. From the railings, the style of the openings to the light fixtures, the furniture, the colors was definitely a great representation of Art Deco. And another thing that you can check out if you're really interested in seeing this design style live and in action. If you're kind of like me and you like to see movie sets or the design or the background of a movie, 
then I highly recommend checking out The Great Gatsby starring Leonardo DiCaprio. It is a beautiful pictation of the Art Deco style. So, gotta check it out. And right now, being that geometric patterns and are really big this year, that's a great way if you wanna introduce this style into your home by maybe adding a wallpaper, maybe even a rug that has that particular design style. They also came out with a lot of great graphic posters during this time and it's an awesome way to add some artwork to your home if you're desiring to add this particular design style into your space. And what I love about Art Deco is it's a time in design history where the architects and designers of that time left their mark on the world. And no matter where you are, what country you're in, if you see something that is true Art Deco, you can always point it out. That's what makes Art Deco so fascinating to me. So the next design style that I'm going to talk about is contemporary design. Not to be mixed up with modern design because they actually are two different things. In the design industry, when we really think of modern design, we think of mid-century modern. And it's almost like Art Deco where it denotes a particular period in time where the architecture changed, the style of furniture. Contemporary design leans more towards what is current and what is happening right now in the design world. But if you're like me, most people think of contemporary, they think of minimalism. And it's really not minimalism. Like I said, it denotes what's going on now. But when I think of contemporary design, if I'm trying to relate that to a client, I think of very clean lines, I think of leathers, I think of metals, I think of minimum architecture, newer materials that are being used because that's what's happening now. For instance, the movement with cork being placed on the wall would be considered contemporary even though we've seen it before. And when I really think of contemporary design or places that on the cutting edge, I think of homes in LA, I think of on the East Coast, um, New York apartments, and also in Miami, they have a style of contemporary design that is a little different in each region. And what I love about contemporary design is that it is a clean style, not necessarily a dark interior, but something that still can be very rich and warm using different types of materials, what's current and what's trending right now. And the final design that I'm going to talk about today is a design style that we call industrial. If you're like me, most people when we think of industrial, we think of the industrial revolution. When things were not being made by hand, but they were actually being mass produced. And you will see during that time frame in New York, that's when a lot of the factories were built and people were working in these large spaces to create mass-produced items. But when I think of industrial design, I think of really the nuts and bolts of an item. If you were wanting to incorporate this design style into your home, you would see an open shelf with the exposed metal as well as the exposed elbows. And if you are looking for some inspiration for the industrial design movement or the look, a good place to go for inspiration is restoration hardware. What I love about Restoration Hardware is you can go on their website and they have a, a tab where you can go and get inspiration for your home in all areas of your home. And they do a lot of that industrial look mixed in with a higher end look. But of course you can recreate some of this for yourself. Or you can subscribe to their catalogs because they really have awesome imagery if you're looking to recreate that style in your home. But easy ways, you can do the open shelving, display items, you can do an entertainment center that features a lot of the metals and the wood. You can also do some great bar stools. Pendant lighting is always a great way. But ideally, if you're in a loft space and that's your design style, it just plays so well into recreating that feel of what we say is industrial design that was spurred by the Industrial Revolution. So y'all, that's it. 
for my first video about design styles. My goal is to do a video every month and I'm just gonna randomly pick three different design styles and talk about them. So if you have a suggestion about a particular design style that you want me to do a little research on, then just leave it in the comments. Or if you are thinking about incorporating the Art Deco, contemporary, or industrial design styles into your home, I would love to hear about it. And I also would love to see it. So I'm doing something new. I haven't done this before. So I want you guys to take pictures and hashtag it with SG Design Styles. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it right here. SG Design Styles with the hashtag. If you load it to Instagram, I'll be able to see your pictures. If you put it on Twitter, I'll be able to see your pictures. If you go to Facebook, as long as you hashtag it, I'll be able to see your pictures, make comments. You might be out just touring your city or in another city and you see one of these particular styles in action take a picture of it so that we can all experience what is going on in our area. If you're new to my channel, I am so happy that you decided to stop by and spend a little time with me today. So I say welcome. If you're already a subscriber, oh my goodness, y'all know that I have nothing but hugs and love for you. Just so y'all know, I do read all of your comments and questions. I'm trying to make sure if you do ask a question that I'm trying to respond back to you as soon as possible. I just want y'all to know I'm always thinking about my fam. Again, I thank y'all so much for watching. Thank y'all so much for your support. And until the next video.